what's happening you guys and we're here with another video we have the iHome reflex for the iPhone 6 plus okay people taking a look at this thing the first thing that um, got my attention was this yellowish beige $7.99 price tag and like I always tell you never buy a case when you first just see it in the apple store i know you want to leave with the case on your phone but don't do it people you're throwing money down the drain series of iphone 6 plus cases between this week and next week just because there's not many reviews out there for the 6 plus or there's not that many cases out there so i want you to see your options and to get where you can get the deal from it says price at 12 dollars when again um ihome I don't really see a lot of them in Best Buy, but this is, I think it was about 15 something on Amazon. So again, it's still roughly around the same price, but you're still getting a deal from Marshalls. Let's take a look at it. It flips back like this. You get to see a glance at what it will look like once it's fit in there snug on your iPhone. iHome, let's look at the back. Okay, full access to the camera. And I think the, the um, eyesight speaker thing, uh, your protection. It has two pieces. So this isn't bad. It's a bang for your buck. It's a rugged part. And then I think it's like a, a matte finish uh, plastic in the inside. We're gonna take a look at it and see what that's all about. And economic grip that it says right here. So this bad boy is a, uh, oh, and this one actually comes with a limited lifetime warranty. Now you have to, no, you guys, when something says lifetime warranty, it covers a lot more than it says limited lifetime warranty. That means there's limits to the warranty. And hopefully they discuss that in the packaging. If not, I'm sure they're gonna tell you, oh, we'll check out the website. Okay, I've now opened the box here. We have um, just the box in the plastic. Here we have the um, card that's inserted inside of it says visit us at ihomecases.com oh guess what another um image of the iphones i'm just getting plenty of cardboard um paper iphone little things here so i'm gonna hang on to that as you can see this is bad to show black on black because of the table i'm showing you on but this is a plastic part here and then this is a rubber in the inside i'm so glad the rubber's on the inside than on the outside um just because pulling it in and out of the pocket can become difficult and very um, overwhelming at times i can already see it now that this may be a case i might be returning just because i thought it was going to be a little different um i thought it was going to have like little rubbers out here that you can actually like grip and hold on to but uh yeah so it still looks like a pretty decent case um, so let's just get this thing on the iPhone. Lay here, lay this flat. Put this in here, it goes in there perfectly without any extra force. Now here's the part we gotta snap it in. And you might wanna do this side first because these are where the ports, they have to go in here. So this back out, slide this side in first. Sorry about the moving around in the camera, just because I'm holding it. Um, I haven't got my iPad tripod set up yet. And um, I'm not funded by anybody, so I don't have like a DSLR camera, um, or whatever you call those fancy majigger cameras. Okay, so now that I have this on, I actually might think about keeping this case. Um, I really actually think I might keep this thing because I like how it feels. It feels really good. Although I feel like the other one, I could grip it a little more, but now my hands are fairly normal. So if you have normal size hands, I'm like 5'9". Some people say, oh, you're 5'8". No, people, I'm like 5'. Eight-ish, maybe on nine, nine. But anyways, my here are my hands. Okay, you can see my hands here. Um, so I mean, to be able to just position, you have to know how to position your hands to like go like this, and to be able to like move around the screen. 
it's a reach to get all the way over here you see so i feel like it's okay i don't feel like you'll drop it but when you're in a crowd like new york you have to really hold on to your phone type because any type of somebody bump you could be like oh and then like drop your thick it's thicker than the other one this case is definitely thicker than the other case um the only downfall about this one is maybe if you sit in a docking station you're gonna have to take this off so um the headphone jack looks like it could support beats because of the whole thing but i don't know it's kind of deep in there like so maybe maybe not um if i had to score this i would probably give this like maybe a eight out of ten just because um, I feel like it adds extra bulk to it, to me. But that's because you have those two layers. And I feel like it's going to be really protected. See how the buttons here, they have a rubbering over them. And then this one. So definitely you drop this thing on the sides and like this. And even flat, there's a bulk, like you see it's sticking out above the screen. So it doesn't, see how that thickness right there where my finger is? Uh, it won't just hit like that and it'll, you know, actually um, hit the screen. This has been Josh with Tech Addiction and um, see you next time. Mm -hmm.